Just when the Olympics seemed poised for more scandal, fencing's start this weekend has added to the drama. A staple since the 1896 Games, fencing blends tradition with modern technology. Referees still announce and guard before bouts, but points are now electronically scored to keep up with the rapid movements. The sport's complex rules leave significant room for interpretation, leading some to suspect corruption. This summer's fencing events will be held in the opulent Palace of Versailles. Yet, U.S. fencing is mired in controversy. Two months ago, USA fencing suspended referees Jacobo Morales and Brandon Romo for nine months after they admitted to communicating during a qualifying tournament. Although they denied manipulating results, they were found guilty of a conflict of interest related to a match involving Tatyana Nazlimov, a saber fencer from Princeton. USA fencing had initially sought 10 year bans but settled for a lesser penalty due to insufficient evidence of collusion. USA fencing also accused referees Yevgeny Dyokokin of Kazakhstan and Vasil Milanchev of Bulgaria of favoring Nazlimov and another American, Mitchell Saron. They argued that their video evidence was compelling and requested that the International Fencing Federation prevent Dyokokin and Milanchev from officiating matches involving U.S. fencers. The results of the investigation into these allegations remain unclear, and the referees continue to officiate. Dyokokin and Milanchev have not commented publicly. In December, USA Fencing CEO Phil Andrews warned Nazlimov and Saron of data suggesting preferential treatment by certain referees. Although an early draft of the warning suggested potential penalties, the final notice was more cautious, stating there was no current evidence implicating them in wrongdoing. Despite this, Nazlimov and Saron secured spots for Paris 2024. If they compete under Dyokokin or Milanchev, The controversy is likely to resurface, regardless of the absence of concrete evidence. Fencing has faced controversies before. At the last Olympics, Ipe fencer Elin Hadzik was under investigation for sexual misconduct allegations. Despite efforts to bar him from Tokyo, Safe Sports' compromise was to isolate him from his team. Hadzik was eventually banned from fencing, though he faced no criminal charges. USA fencing has struggled with integrity issues due to limited resources compared to other Olympic sports and perceived lack of support from peer federations. The sport's elite nature and flexible rules have led some to believe that bending the rules is a way to get ahead. USA fencing's investigation into alleged cheating relied heavily on crowdsourced evidence. After the findings were released in April, some team members demanded stronger measures to protect the sport from unfair practices. As fencing gears up for the Olympics, the sport remains under scrutiny. The upcoming competition at Versailles promises to be a test not just of athletic skill but of the sport's ability to address ongoing concerns about fairness and integrity.